We have the most adorable welcome we bring you back to the show. Manny and Jack here are pocket-sized three-pound Yorkshire Terriers, and they are the ultimate snuggle bunnies. They're cheerful, upbeat, they'll happily share puppy breath kisses with anyone in smooching range. They'll climb right up into your lap to watch TV and like to burrow in blankets to keep you warm in bed at night. Although they're very affectionate, they have a playful side too and they're going through their first puppy chewing stage right now. So it's virtually inevitable that a puppy will uh, do some damage around the house and they love to chew things, especially those of value just part of raising a puppy. So you can, however, prevent most problems by providing your pup with some fun toys. And Alyssa, our Pinterest volunteer, is here today to show us a fun craft that's easy to do to entertain our pups at home. Yes, super easy craft. It's a little tug of war toy. You can make different sizes. Um, if you want a bigger size, you'll need longer fabric. So what you'll need is you'll need some fabric. Um, you can use denim, any kind of shirt. You want them to have three different colors like I have here. And what you'll start out with is braiding it about two-thirds of the way down like I have. And then what you'll want to do is you'll match up um, the fabric. So you'll want to find the pink ones, match them with the pink and the purple with that. And then you'll start braiding that all the way down until you get to the end. <laughs> and then when you're done there, you'll just take another piece. Oops. And then helper. tie it together, and there you have your toy. Very Super easy. Super easy. Great way to make use of all those old t-shirts around the house yes. and extra material you might have lounging around. And um, they definitely keep the puppies entertained for sure. So thanks for sharing that with us today. Thank you. All right, so if you want to make uh, Jack and Manny part of your family, they're available at our campus for Compassion. Today at 3 o'clock, come down and meet these two adorable pups. Up next, we have Kango. He may be a limb short of what we call normal. He's a energetic boy hanging out with Perry. He might be a limb short, but this three-legged dog gets around without a hitch, and Perry, this dog, loves to romp and play. He, do he does. He's, he's running at 75% uh, uh, efficiency right now. He's missing a leg, but I'll tell you what, he's not inefficient at all. He runs and plays and romps in the yard, like you said, like any other dog, and he is very, very happy and just lucky to be alive and, and enjoying. He just runs around like crazy. You know, if you've never had a three-legged dog, don't let it scare you away, because I have seen plenty and they are really no different than any other dog. They run and they jump. They can do just about everything. They climb stairs. They do it all. And one of the great little things here that obviously Kanga really likes is a Kong toy. Now, this is a pretty simple looking little toy here. All it is is a big piece of rubber. Not real exciting looking. However, it is a great toy because what you can do and what Kanga is enjoying right now is you can stuff them with things like peanut butter and cream cheese and mashed potato flakes and all that kind of neat stuff and freeze them overnight and bring them out and put them in their crate or if you don't crate your dog in the house somewhere and they will spend hours and hours just trying to get that peanut butter, the, the treats out of here. It is a great uh, mechanism for them to kind of just get some energy and uh, it, it's a great little thing for them and it's very almost indestructible. I don't want to say totally indestructible, but pretty close. So Kango here likes Kongs we know and Kango here knows tricks and Kango sits her very well. So if you're looking for a doggy that's going to just bring some joy to your life, and you're going to bring lots and lots of love to this dog's life, too. <laughs> Look at little Kango right here. What a love bucket he is. Thanks, Perry. Kongs are definitely worth the investment. All right, now, there was a clash in personalities in Darla's previous home, and her feline roommate never took a liking to this friendly feline. So Lisa, this gorgeous kitty, is ready to be queen of her new home. She is, and she's displaying her yoga moves here. She likes to stretch, and she loves to be on the couch next to you. But Darla was having trouble fitting in with uh, her previous owners. The cats in the home just didn't like Darla. She's got a gentle spirit, and she's independent. She likes to just relax next to you on the couch. And she climbs up, does a little watching out the window, but you'll barely notice her. And what she's decided that she likes to do is when you read your morning newspaper, she'll sprawl out across your newspaper so that she is sure you don't forget about her. <laughs> Typical cat move. My cat does that to me all the time. Well, these two felines seem to be getting along great. Rudy was adopted from the Arizona Humane Society Sunny Slope campus, and the Edwards family reports that the black and white tuxedo cat is indeed thriving. As you can see, he lives the good life, sleeping on his owner's pillow during the day and napping as much as possible with his new feline friend, the black kitty in this photo, Miss Bella. 
Well, Connie Bell is an athletic black Labrador who eagerly dives into the pool and joins her owners for jogs and hikes. Fritz, on the other paw, does not like water and is more of the couch potato type. She takes life very seriously, I noticed. And at the end of the day, though, Perry, these two are inseparable friends. They share dog beds and treats, and they hope to find a home that will welcome them both. Right, this is the old-fashioned black and tan right here. You get, you get two for the price of one with these guys, and they are just wonderful. Like you said, they're joined at the hip. Although they are so close together, they're kind of, like you said, different personalities here. This guy right here I have, Fritz, is kind of a goofball. He likes the toys a lot, and he runs around, and he wags it. There he goes. He's going to pick it up. He's going to show it to me. He's going to flop it all around. But look at Connie Bell right there. She's looking and saying, what a, what a dope my brother is. He's, he's, he's silly. She's very, very serious about things. So she goes along with whatever he does. But they love one another, and they're a great compliment. You know, I think it's sometimes easier to go from zero to two dogs than it would be for from zero to one because if you have a dog that's got some separation issues they're just lonely you're gonna worry about that and so two dogs they keep each other company and they're gonna be great friends throughout the day and it's just wonderful come on down and check out the two for oneers lab Ellen Fritz what a pair holy cow they are adorable <laughs> thanks Perry well stay with us meet little Tucker when we come back we have more adoptable pets for you to meet